A wire fence is the perfect solution for a gardener who needs to keep animals away, and it's a project most homeowners can tackle by themselves. Some wire fences are made with metal posts, but wooden posts are more common. Begin the installation by using Mason's line to mark the fence perimeter. To ensure that the lines are perpendicular, use the 3-4-5 method. Measure three feet from where the lines intersect and make a mark on one string line. Measure four feet along the other line and make another mark. Measure between those two marks and adjust one line until the marks are exactly five feet apart. Use spray paint to mark the corners where the post will go. Before you dig, call 811 to determine the exact location of any underground utilities like water, gas, or electrical lines. To dig the holes, you could rent a mechanical auger, but in most cases, a manual post hole digger will get the job done. Instead of measuring every hole, use tape to mark the depth on the post hole digger. The holes should be at least one third as deep as the height of the fence, This fence will use two kinds of wire mesh. The PVC coated wire at the bottom will be installed below grade to keep the critters from burrowing underneath the fence. Depending on the size of your project, use a trencher or trenching shovel to dig the trench. It should be about a foot deep just outside the perimeter of the fence. The posts and rails will be connected with a notch system, so use a two by four to mark the space for the top rail. Use the height of your wire fencing to mark the bottom rail. Then cut the notches on each post using a circular saw and chisel. Pour six inches of drainage stone into the bottom of each hole and tamp down. Use drainage stone mixed with soil for backfill. Be sure to set the posts at the correct height and keep the posts plumb as you tamp down the backfill. Set the rails in the notches and screw them in place. Repeat the process around the perimeter of the fence for the top and bottom rails. Unroll the mesh fencing and hammer galvanized staples every three inches to secure the mesh to the top rail. When you reach the next post, pull the mesh taut and staple the mesh vertically to the post every six inches. When you reach the bottom of the post, staple the mesh across the bottom rail every three inches. Repeat this process along the entire fence and use fencing pliers to trim any mesh that extends beyond the last post. Staple the PVC coated mesh to the bottom rail, fold it down into the trench and then backfill. Build the frame of the gate and staple mesh across the front of it. Use shims to keep it level and plumb and then attach the hinges and latch. This installation is perfect for keeping dogs, rabbits, and many other critters from damaging a well-maintained garden.